Hey YouTube, welcome back to my Centaur uh, creation series in Blender. This video is all about animating the walk cycle for this character. If you want to see how I made this model, you can see the previous views in um, this playlist to, to see how I got to this point. But this video is all about the walk cycle. So the biggest thing to take away from this is uh, to animate walking or moving, um, especially the legs and um, two or four leg characters, you, you want to find key poses. And normally in horses, there's uh, four main ones, and then there's four that sit between those total. So there's eight key poses that I modeled to start out on this and then everything else in between is just tweaking to make it either look smoother or adjust fine details so one example of that is um, if the keyframes are spaced properly but i don't like how high uh, the back foot goes as it swings forward i can i can add that change into a keyframe in between the two that I was looking at, or I can modify the one in the middle and just pull that foot up. And Blender does all of the automatic moving for you. So you can make those adjustments pretty fast because all you have to do is highlight that keyframe and make a small adjustment. So this process is obviously super iterative, which means you just, you have to keep tweaking and moving things. And throughout this video, you can see how many times I, I scaled the timeline, I move keyframes around, I delete them, I add them. Uh, but the easy way to start these off is just to search for the main poses that happen when a horse walks. And it, the same goes for any, any character, just find what is most similar to it. And there's a lot of great reference images that will show the poses. And then all you have to do is uh, pose each one of those and add a keyframe and then separate them on your timeline. In, and you just take a guess, but you want to separate them by the proper number of frames or an even number of frames. And then you can come back and scale the timeline later to match the frame rate that you want your video to run at. But if you get those main poses down, all the adjustments in between are just tweaks and it's a lot easier. So what I do with two leg characters is to start with the legs and work my way up. And I found that it's a lot easier to deal with four main poses in two leg characters. So when I started this model, uh, having so many extra main keyframes and in, in having eight instead of four, I realized that adjusting the upper body, the arms, the head, all of that stuff was going to be a little more complicated because you have to copy all of those changes to each keyframe as you go. So starting at the bottom here was a little more difficult than with some of my other characters, but it just takes, it just takes time and attention to keep playing through the frames and making them look like you want. So at the end, I'll show what this animation ended up looking like. And the only other thing I added, uh, which I actually have a separate video for, but I wanted to add a prop for this character. So I made a bow and arrow for her to carry around. And you'll see it in the final render here coming up in just a bit. But go check out that if you want to see how to, how to throw a bow and arrow together real fast. Otherwise, if you want to see the other videos from this character's creation series, uh, they're in the same playlist as this, so definitely go check those out. Also, please consider subscribing, and I'd really like to hear from you. Just leave a comment. Let me know if you like these formats, if you'd like to see something different, and you know maybe what kind of character or scenery you would like to see me make. I'm uh, super open to suggestions and just want to hear what people want. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.